Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Psalm 55, verse 17. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another day of life. And dear Lord, thank you for the little um, upli upliftment of life that you you give us ever so often in the seasons when we're not even asking for asking for much, but you can give us more than we can ask for, dear Lord. And I just want to thank you for for being faithful unto us, and we thank you for keeping us faithful unto you. And this is why we do ask each and every morning that you keep us according to your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. That our hearts be always into, like, into, or in, in line, in tune with yours. So we can be also called men and women with a heart after yours. And as always, dear Lord, we just pray, as you do bless us, that the blessings do not become things that take us away from you. Because if we love the gifts more than the giver, then shall we be very, we, we should be accounted unfaithful in that event, dear Lord. But we know that through you, we can be blessed and also still give you the love that you are deserving of. And this is only done through you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we just pray that you abide in us, that you continue to lead us by your Holy Spirit, instruct us by your word. And these many blessings that you have given us in your scripture, we can learn from them. Especially even the, the psalm that we're going to read this morning. We can learn a lot from your servant David. And we just pray that we can put these into practice in the seasons of life that we face. The things that we are going through. And that we are able to navigate this life circumspectly. And having navigated circumspectly, we shall finish the race. To fight the good fight of faith, overcoming all things, so that we can be with you upon your return in your glory and in your goodness, in your eternal kingdom forever. And this is what we ask, and we know, I have all confidence that you are able to do this and sustain, sustain us in this life. But it is for us to commit our lives and ourselves wholly over to you, dear Lord. And this is what we pray that we do this morning, which is pretty much our prayer, prayer every day. So our prayer every day also is that in the tests and trials of life, you keep us faithful, keep us planted, keep us sure. This is my petition, not only for myself, but for every person who believes and loves you, dear Lord, that you help us throughout this life, that we are not moved. You said you will never suffer the righteous to be moved. I hold you to your word and I petition this for us all each and every day. And that our children likewise are grown up in the way and knowledge of who you are. So when they're of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you. Open up your word to us this morning. Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. Alright. So Psalm 55, 17 says, Even evening and morning and noon, I will pray and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. Amen. I was reading this this morning and I, and I was thinking, do I actually do this? I don't believe so. Right? And this is why we read these scriptures so we can learn. It's written for our learning. And um, yeah, we need to be in our word more. more that, to be honest, there was a point that I was in my word more. And I need to get back to that place or even better. Because as I said, like these things are a good reminder. Evening and morning and noon. Pretty much the whole day um, David is talking about here. As evening, morning, noon, evening, morning. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the whole time of day, isn't it? He said, I would pray. And this again. And it shows you how the scripture just, you can see the spirit of Christ operating right throughout the scripture, right? Because the prophets, the holy men of old, through the spirit of Christ, they did what they did. 
they said that what they said they wrote what they wrote right and david here is showing us even in the, in psalm here in the old testament a principle that is found in that was reiterated in the new testament which was to pray without ceasing, right? Is it in Thessalonians? First Thessalonians, something I believe so, right? So, this 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 is a godly principle. At the, the bit that I maybe oh I will pray and cry aloud. Well, maybe, mm, well I don't cry aloud, so I don't know. I don't know, but still, some of us may need to cry out aloud to God, and. I pray when the time come when we need to cry out to God that we not feel like we feel um incapable of doing that, right? We want to make sure that we're doing everything in spirit and in truth. So yeah, evening, morning, and noonday, I would would will I pray? And as I said, this is a principle that we can learn from. Why? Because to be honest, whether we at the lowest point in our life or at the highest point in our life there is someone that we should be consulting to give thanks give our petition ask right and and this is the lord god almighty the one that can do all things and if you read this psalm it sounds if if i want to put the psalm into context it would sound that period of david life when um joab Joab, his 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 friend, went against him, and I say that because um, in verse twelve it says, "For it was not an any." Oh, hold on, it might have said, it might have said it in the beginning, to the chief musician of Megiddo, not Mashchil, a psalm of David when the Ziphims came and said to Saul, "Doth not David hide himself with us?" Okay, now so let me not even say anymore. The 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 little part of the Bible there is. No, 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 I was reading 54. To the chief musician of Migoth, Mashiach, a psalm of David. Okay, so yeah, sorry. No, let me correct, correct myself. <laughs> so 55 there at the top of my Bible, it didn't really say what time, but verse 12 sounds, it kind of lines up with the time when Joab went against David and Joab was one of his friends that he went out to battle with. That they did a lot of exploits in the name of the Lord. But Joab had an, a, 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 it's a little bitterness in his heart, right? And he went against David, and he did, he did, he did evil, right? So, as I said, you can imagine that when they're a good company, and then when you used to roll with, that you used to walk to the temple with and praise God with, or you go to, to battle and win battles in the name of the Lord with, turn against you, right? This this not gonna feel nice. Right, and this is why David, and you know, David's heart was like on a next level, it was on a next level, hence why God said, David, I found David a man after my own heart. So, David wouldn't have been really, I'm pretty sure David would be in the sense that he would have wanted his um his relationship with his friend to be amended, but nevertheless, his friend, if he went against him, has now become his enemy. Right and God, He knew that God would deal with His enemies, um, like how He's been, how He dealt with all of His enemies. So, as I said, this is just again showing us that in every single point of and season of life, there is that 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 element of communication that we should have with God. We should be praying without ceasing. And as I said, this is something that we 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 grow in um, when we. We, we grow in our relationship with God through Christ Jesus and this is something that we ought to be practicing and what to be honest most of the time throughout the day yes I am consulting the Lord I, I am praying I'm just seeing everything sometimes you can get distracted I hold my hands up yes 100% but when I do get distracted and I find myself like whoa I've been I've been in this thought for too long or I've been um taking away looking at this thing too long. Then my father said, Lord, sorry. <laughs> don't keep me from distraction. Or something of the sort. I'm paraphrasing it. I don't know what exactly I said, but it it is it, it would lead on to that, right? And as he said, he shall hear our voices where we do pray and petition him. And I said Pray without ceasing is one of those godly 
principles that we get taught right throughout scripture, right? We want to be like Enoch. And Enoch walked with God and Enoch was not because the Lord took him, right? <laughs> we want that to be our story, right? The Lord take us into his company. So let, yeah, share anything that you want to share in the comments so you can send it into the word at eachreach1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.